everyone and welcome to Adventures by D. Today we're at the Indianapolis Zoo. And this zoo is so unique because it has not only regular zoo animals, there's an oceans exhibit, and it even has a roller coaster. So join us on this zoo adventure. Oh wow. We're in the oceans exhibit, which is in the front of the park as soon as you enter off to the right. watching us and now youngins oh my gosh that so the new exhibits here and it just it literally just opened like three days ago well let's go check that out that'll be so right, we're not go. going this way apparently not 
We're gonna go this way. Yes. And then I don't. Is this the alligator tent? Here we go to the alligators and crocodiles exhibit. All the exhibits are social distance, and there's lines to get into them. So whether it's oceans, the desert, here the African and crocodile, all of it. Cage. That's about right. They like grab your arm through like the cage. He's coming. It looked like they're asleep. Alligator, alligator, or crocodile. The secret is in the snout. I always wondered what the difference was. Wow! Look at those scales on the tail. Wow. It must be well That's a fed. crocodile there. He's not really touching you that. You see that? Nose. You can kind of see its snout here, the crocodile. It's skinny. And it does. Its tail is like really, really cool. The people are pointing to something. I can't see it from here. Before I read some of those right. signs. Would you one like of them to know? more like him. Yes. Would you like to take a guess at which one is which? I don't know. I'll let the kids guess. Well, that's obviously a crocodile and that yeah. one's an alligator. Yeah, exactly. And how do you tell the difference? The nose, the snout. Yeah. yeah, no, that's exactly right. So if you look at their snouts, they're going to be a little bit more narrow. This is a crocodile. Uh, a little skinnier. They have like more of a T-shaped snout. You can also look at their teeth, too. How their bottom and front teeth are showing. They have sort of a crooked smile. So I always tell people, crooked smile, crocodile. That's a good way to think about it. And then the alligator is just like you said, they have a little bit of a wider snout, and it's going to be more of a U shape here. And also, you, can, you look at their teeth, and only their top teeth have an over right there. But you can see the bottom teeth, obviously, when they open their jaws. Or they smile, it's just going to be that top tongue. Oh, the so they're working on saving the alligator. I didn't, I didn't actually know that. Maddie, are you ready for this? Oh yeah. <laughs> are you ready? They should have to wait too so they don't stand on us. Touch it. Touch, touch it. it. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Yeah. A blue tongued skink. Where is it? Right there. Oh, right there. Find the picture. Tortoise is over there. Come on, let's see your tongue. You're right, there is a bearded dragon dragon in here. Bearded dragon. Oh yeah, an iguana, where's the skin? Wow, look at that thing.
guys, come look at this. He's trying to eat the plant. Look, look, look. He's gonna walk up the rock. Come on, buddy. Come on, you can do it. Like I can't reach. He's gonna grab his neck and pull him up. Look, he wants to eat you. Oh my gosh, he got it. Look, look. Oh, he's stretching. I looked at the girl head. Oh, is that interesting? Yeah, they are interesting. They must be bigger. Can't see. Make it bad enough that they go spit at the wall. How thick is that? That thing. Oh, Should it get out? It's like, let me get up as high as I can to get out. Zebra splitting program. Yeah, they, you can hunt them. Yeah. There you sign up and they have a... You guys need a go hunt. No way. No? Huge. Can you get a picture of his head? Because it looked like a leaf. I don't say anything, Kadu. Uh. I'd say this is a pretty good zoo. I'm not lying.
Where is that mommy? You don't have to sound like you're dying. Is this just a Hyrax in here? Wait, we just find the Hyrax. Remember the little the rock? Oh, that's our Hyrax. That's it exactly what I was talking about. Yeah, we saw one of those at the Chattanooga Zoo, but it was like a All right, Madison, what did you think of our day at the Indianapolis Zoo? It's pretty cool. There was a lot of different animals and different areas. It's definitely a lot different from the Atlanta Zoo. So. It is. They have different types of animals and they have that oceans exhibit, so it's kind of like an aquarium in there. We did mm -hmm. the zoo train. You rode the roller coaster. Uh, the sky buckets weren't running today or we would have done that over the orangutan exhibit. And it was busy today. Lots of lines to go into the exhibits. Mm -hmm. So pack your patience. I would recommend getting here early in the morning. I would say also the zoo, don't know if it's worth the price. For little kids it probably is, but the train didn't really show you anything, unfortunately. And it's $3.50 a person for the train. So just consider that when you go. If you have little kids that love trains, it's probably good for us. At the age these guys are, we thought we'd see more of the zoo and we didn't. So. Um, probably should be included in the admission price for what you see but yeah. other trains you know have other things with them this one didn't necessarily it was cute but uh, I'd probably skip that one next time yeah what about the roller coaster would you do it again yes but it was really short and it, you did two loops and it was also three dollars and fifty cents a person right mm -hmm. so lots of add-on costs here there were other experiences that you could do like feeding giraffes and things like that that we didn't do today but all in all, really liked it. It's a very nice zoo, very clean. Lots of, they're expanding all the time to the new uh, alligator and crocodile exhibit was awesome. And with that, please subscribe to our channel and like this video. We have a playlist of all things zoos and aquariums. And Indianapolis Zoo is now in that list. We are, we live in the Atlanta area. So Georgia Aquarium is like the number one aquarium in the US. And we've covered that several times. We've been in the Chattanooga, zoo we've been to the atlanta zoo we've also been to the uh tennessee aquarium and there'll be more coming mm -hmm. so with that may, may the adventures, adventures be with you thank you for watching make sure to like subscribe and ringing a bell so you'll be notified of our next upload and as always may the adventures be with you